Oh, got that on camera? We'll make sure we don't have yeah, any more malfunctions. Absolutely. <laughs> We've got a nipple slip. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm Michelle Carr. And I'm Matt Carr. This is Riding in Cars with Cars. We are the car group with Redline Real Estate, and this show is all about connecting you with the people and places of Airdrie. Mm -hmm. Matt, who are we off to pick up today? We're off to pick up Joni from Axel. Axel? Not Axe, Axel. Axe. Rival. Ra rival Axe. Axe Throwing. Thank you. Rival she might throw Axe an Axe throwing. at you. <laughs> right after I butchered that. <laughs> no, she's uh, she's going to be awesome in the car. We'll learn all about what you can do at Rival Axe, maybe not just throwing axes, and uh, some of the awesome partnerships they have going on with other businesses right here in Airdrie. Okay. Joni Daly of Rival Axe Throwing. I kind of screwed it up in the intro. Okay. <laughs> I, called it, I, called, yeah, I called it Axel. Kind of oh, like, remember Axel. Axel Foley from from uh, um, Beverly Hills Cop way back when? Oh yeah, yeah Axel Foley. <laughs> well, that's not so, so bad. So rival axe throwing. Yes. Welcome to the car. Thanks, guys. I'm really excited to be with you. We're awesome. glad to Both. have you. It's exciting. Why yeah. Not? How did you get started with this? How, did you wake up one day and think we should create an environment where people can huck sharp objects at wood? And, and a bullseye. Well, kind of, but not really. <laughs> We really actually just had a real desire to build something in our city mm -hmm. that would allow people to come together and be part of a community. Joni, I love that this whole business is predicated on the idea of bringing people together. So what kind of events do you guys do that is an opportunity for people to come together? Well, we have um, a league that we are just actually wrapping up our first league oh, wow. and um, so we'll be having the championship next week <laughs> nice. and I would say we're more of the beer league like just really fun That's people just come out and have fun <laughs> um, we do have people that visit us from other axe throwing facilities and okay. they're like oh this is so just chill <laughs> and um that's what we want we don't want people to feel that they have to be experts or anything like right. that so we just no, want people to come nobody's going to the olympics right now not right yet, not yet. but apparently they're talking about olympics oh, okay. and we are part of the world's axe throwing league okay so there are huh. over 400 venues um in 18 different countries wow. and so we are part of that that's great. And it's just a, it's a league that helps people just all have the same, you know, the rules and just gives a little bit of structure. So that's kind of good too, to help us awesome. that's lead great. in that area as well. April 10th is the beginning of our next league. Oh, so okay. if anybody's interested okay. in that, it runs for eight weeks. Oh, great. They can come out and um, we even have like a father who brings his daughter and she throws as well. So it's really fun. It's a father, nice. daughter <laughs> night, date night every yeah. week for them. So that's great. It's exciting. And you guys are also a location for a speed dating event. Yes, we have Calgary Speed Dating that uses our <laughs> venue this for their first dangerous. date <laughs> and uh, our second date. And then if there's enough interest and if we find out or they find out people in the Airdrie area would like to do speed dating, they will set up. Um, they'll do a speed dating night right at our location. That's great. That's great. Well, you guys have such a beautiful environment there as well because there's there, there's tables and stools and then the couches and the bar area. Tell us a little bit about what kind of space you wanted to create. Well, even when we had our other business, um, I'd already always had seen us having Live Edge. Yeah. And um, we do a lot of work with an organization out on the coast or we have over the years. Cool. And it just makes a real cozy atmosphere. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We've had people who have um, graciously given us some of their mounts. So we've got moose and yes. all these different things. It's really awesome. And we just it's just a chill place. Come and have a beer on tap. And um, all these breweries popping up in town. It gives us an opportunity to also support them. Oh, and that's awesome. Yeah, it's just nice to have a drink and relax. And you don't even need to throw axes when you come. You can actually come to our space and yeah. have something from the menu, a bite to eat, um, or a beer or something. Yeah, just relax. Yeah, I it, love is, that. it is really relaxing. 
you guys hosted um, a networking event for the Airdrie Chamber of Commerce not too long ago. So it's a great space. Like you were talking about the league night and then the speed dating. But if there are people out there that are looking for a venue for networking or just getting together with friends. Yeah. It's a great spot. What kind of events have you guys hosted there? Well, we've had... Like you said, we've had the chamber. We had a, a food bank food drive with Corey Mace. And then he came back, and and um, he is going to be bringing like the Stampeders will be doing some training oh, fun. in our facility. Yeah. We've had birthday parties, snagets, um, construction. We've had um, safety meetings in the morning, so we'll cater in and I'll do the breakfast for them and they okay. can do their safety meetings. So we can have around 50 people. Oh wow! And so that's quite nice. It's small and intimate still but um, large yep. enough and we've got a wedding that's happening as well coming really? up right, right away that's so the, cool yeah at your location yeah. they're gonna yeah. say i do yes they're I part of that. our league that's awesome. they're really a great family oh. so we're just really excited to have that to How be fun. part of that with them so i'm assuming team exciting. building for businesses would be a great absolutely yeah. Well. yeah i have seen some incredible things happen in the team environment mm. i remember our first one um that came in there was a gentleman he just kind of sat he was segregated when he arrived and I thought oh that's kind of sad you know because he's part of this company but he never felt part of the company okay and so we strategically placed people together like the caretaker and the janitor the caretaker sorry and the president and people who don't interact with each other yeah. often so we specifically did that um, we ended up having this three hours with them and help them um, with team building by the end of the night, that gentleman actually ended up being on the winning team. Cool. And it changed the atmosphere of the entire group. And this gentleman was probably changed for life. Because Holy cow. I've seen him since, and it's just really incredible just to see his, you know, the people he was working with cheering for him and, and just really, it was really awesome. Yeah, yeah. So we've seen numerous things like that. Yeah. Um, it's been really exciting just to see how it actually builds into people. That must yeah. be yes. so amazing for you with having started this with the goal of bringing people together and literally yeah. see it happen. Yeah, I get oh. all teared up. I just, it's yeah, really, it that is, hits the feels. Yeah, you yeah know? it is really awesome. That's great. Yeah. Joni, you also have a partnership with a couple other companies that are pretty near and dear to our hearts. Not because they've, they've been fellow guests in riding in cars with cars, but they also are about meat. Well, one's completely about meat, one serves a lot of meat. <laughs> yes, we do, and, and, and we do love the meat as well in our business. Um, local ranch we have, and it's just awesome. And we even have um, staff that are with us right now that are working from the local ranch. So it's kind of cool yeah. how we actually are able to even you know, do a little bit of promoting through that for them as well. But Hayloft is one that we have um, partnered with right now, and it's really exciting. We've got this little promo right now. It's called Huck and Chuck. And so you can come and <laughs> huck for an hour, axes. Which, oh, matter of fact, they got But wait. Wait, oh, oh, right. oh, yeah, I got two, axes two, right here. 10 and 2, yeah. 10 and 2, I'm so driving. anyways, I'll just put that down. I'm distracting Matt here. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, Chuck and Axe. Yeah for an hour and then you head over to Hayloft and you're gonna have um, your local ranch Chuck steak dinner oh. and so all of it's for 40 bucks wow, so it's 20 bucks this. for us 20 bucks for them and um, we just really want to come together if that's not something that works for you right now also we have a, a deal with Hayloft where you go to them or us show us your receipt and we're gonna give you 15% off oh, and wow. same with them off your entire bill and oh, it's just great. we want to support local community yep. and I just think it's so important wherever you possibly can try and support each other you know Absolutely. we want to stay in business we want to be able to have these places in the city that actually have a culture where people experience great things mm -hmm. you know it's about the experience like people want to go and experience something really awesome and feel like Oh, that was awesome. That was an awesome night. And just be treated well. And yeah. and I know Hayloft has the same standard as us as well. So it's exciting to be part with them. And Good for you it's guys. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Joni, you are a serial entrepreneur. <laughs> so when I said serial and you didn't think axes, you were thinking I was going to say something else, weren't you? 
Well, yeah. But, <laughs> but this is not this is not your first business. You've been you've been a, an entrepreneur, business owner for 20, 22 years or so, correct? Yes, I would say probably almost my entire life um, from farming to um, to these businesses now. Airdrie specifically been in business for 21 years here wow. and um, the daily company was part of that we did a lot of new construction home cleaning commercial cleaning then moved into big stuff um, the bow tower was probably the highlight of our 21 years is yeah. doing the bow tower across Iron Mall oh. and then um, finished off with having the detail shop we have a real passion for auto detailing and um, Due to health on my side, I've, um, as of February 28th, mm -hmm. um, we have actually closed both of those companies. Um, it was a decision that we made as a family that um, it was just too much for my health right now. So yeah. it's sad Certainly to see them that. go, but yeah. it is really exciting to see what is happening with Rival and it's giving us more opportunity to spend time with people and um, the community. You actually have a traveling axe throwing cage yes. that you set up on location at these different events. Yes, we do. We have four mobiles right now, and so it depends on what the need is. Right. You know, I already know this year we do have quite a few weddings booked. Um, that would be a fun wedding. Yeah, outdoor <laughs> weddings at a venue out just outside of Airdrie, and the rodeo just trying to think we did about wow. I think a three-day medieval festival in Brooks um, oh, cool. I've got to get out car no community. we're just stuck in the car yeah. Yeah. I don't know what's going on around Driving yeah. in circles I think car car is doing a neighborhood community block party oh that's we'll a be great at thing. that we're gonna be at the Calgary Zoo again for Easter so if you go to the zoo at Easter whatever you pay to get in, then you just throw for free. Okay. So a lot of places it's like that. We did Heritage Park during the coldest Ooh. time there. It was minus 35 that day. Ooh. And um, But we still had 200 people. Wow. Grave the foot of snow and threw in the snow. So Good for that. that was fun. For yeah. you, so. Joni, this is the rapid fire segment of the program. Okay. Darts or axes? Axes. Oh, I wasn't sure what you were gonna say there. <laughs> Salty or sweet? Oh, a little both. Is that okay? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Nothing better than like a chocolate covered pretzel. Yes. Right? Yeah. So, sweet and salty. Yes. Well, there's steak or salad? Oh, steak. Good. Yes. Lois Jones said salad. It was like a knife right. It was like an axe right to my heart. <laughs> what can I say? If there's one piece of advice that you've been given that you would like to pass on to others, what would that be? Care about people. I would say. Again. Plaid or stripes? Plaid. Oh, again, one of those that I was I, I wasn't, wasn't sure what the answer is going to be. <laughs> Joni, thank you so much for jumping in the car with us. We uh, certainly had a great time chatting with you, but it's so nice to know there's so much more than just throwing axes. You guys are about community and creating a space for people, and not only at your location, but also bringing it to people on site at other locations, which I think is awesome as well. So if people want to come and huck an axe, where do they come or how do they get a hold of you? What's the best way to get themselves set up? Well, give us a call. Our number is 403-912-3074. We are directly north of the Superstore and Canadian yep. Tire on Gateway Drive. So our website is rivalaxstoring.com, so that's easy, but phone us. I find a lot of people send a million questions through emails yeah. and it's just when you're wanting to book a party or event or rent a mobile, it's just a lot easier for us to talk about sure. what you're looking for, what you need, and we can get a better answer to you. Got That's it. perfect. For you guys. Yeah. And I love your, your tagline, bury the hatchet. Bury the hatchet. That's oh, right. That's awesome. Yeah, Bring so. people together and... Just get over it. Exactly. That's right. <laughs> yeah, just get over it. So thank you guys. It's really awesome to be part of cars. There you go. Nice. Yes. Red line. Check it out. Red line. Actually, some of the best realtors in the city, they actually are care. Are in this car. Are, they are in this car. <laughs> and I've never seen such a heart for people oh. as these two. And I just think it's really awesome. Oh, so, you know, think about them. 
watch them. Um, <laughs> list your homes. This is all them. getting cut. This is all getting cut. No, no, some of it needs to stay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, Joan. That's really sweet of you. Yeah, to that is. No, for real. Oh, for yeah. real.